May 20th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. We're going to start with the extinction protocol tonight. Tidal waves hit Fiji's coral coast. Huge tidal wave hit uh, Sigatoka and the coral coast areas of Fiji this morning, strewing debris and fish along the Queen's Highway and sweeping belongings out to sea. Um, <clears throat> apparently they had a big tidal wave come in, just put debris up all over the roads, flooded the backyards, and uh, they were saying there was live fish up on the highway. U.S. forecasters see above average hurricane season looming. And uh, had a 5.8 earthquake strikes western Turkey, 3 dead, 75 injured. Um, This looks like they had a little aftershock as well. An earthquake measuring magnitude 5.9 on the open-ended Richter scale and hit northwest Tur Turkey late on Thursday. A citizen panicked and died after jumping from the window. And uh, said an older lady died of a heart attack from an aftershock. A winter-like storm in late spring sends Americans checking their calendars. And... Uh, a frigid spring storm blew through northern Arizona on Wednesday, bringing a mix of rain, sleet, and wet snow. High temperatures are typically around 70 degrees this time of year, but uh, the high for Wednesday was 43 and came at about 1.30 a.m. Temperatures hovered around freezing for much of the day. It's a bit on the usual side, but not unprecedented, said Ken Daniel, a National Weather Service meteorologist. It's an unusually strong and cold system coming down from the northwest, and it's bringing some moisture as it moves across the state. And uh, <clears throat> again, more severe weather um, through the United States, and it's just going to take its toll and flow right through like it always does. 56 killed by dust storms and turbulent weather in India. New Delhi, at least 56 people were killed in Uttard Parish, and... Bihar, when severe dust storm accompanying with rain and thunderstorms lashed some parts of the state on Wednesday evening, according to All India Radio. But, uh, and they're having some severe weather. Mexico awakening, Acapulco region registers 60 tremors so far this May, and uh, the earthquakes are ramping up there. <clears throat> Over to EarthChangesScott.net. Tornado damages northeast businesses. Uh, Philadelphia got hit by a small tornado. And um, some building collapses, and thankfully nobody was hurt. Uh, but people have been all over that tornado for sure. I've seen it all up and down the Weather Channel all day. Um, I've got an interview with Akura... Takuro, nuclear engineer at Fukushima and the mass media. <clears throat> Only the mass media can put the kind of pressure on TEPCO and the Japanese government to bring about major change. This will cost at least $10 billion, if not 20 to $30 billion to clean up. It will take at least 10 years, if not 20, roughly 10,000 people working on the cleanup. The nuclear business is global. This needs to be an international effort to clean up Fukushima according to this uh, nuclear engineer. And uh, <clears throat> the, the problem's just ongoing, and there doesn't seem to be much of an end in sight, and uh, just the lies continue. U.S. Mississippi flood control major changes urged. Um, as the Mississippi River reaches historic crest, the flood control system designed to protect the property is instead destroying crops, homes, and businesses that will cost billions of dollars and require months of recovery efforts, flood experts and conservatives say. And of course they have a video below. Uh, Talicia Volcano in Nicaragua um, is sending huge plumes of gas and ash spewing into the sky. Uh, some major eruptions going on in, in uh, Nicaragua. Venezuela extends emergency efforts as heavy rains return. And uh, remember me reporting yesterday on Colombia. It's just the whole region is just severe weather. Lots and lots and lots of rain. 
Uh, President Hugo Chavez has extended for 90 days in seven states as part of Caracas as the state of emergency is called in response to violent rainfalls in late 2010 that may return this year. And uh, they are expecting more severe damage. Denver's severe storm brings hail, heavy rain, funnel clouds to the metro area. After an extremely dry winter, spring storms are bringing abundant moisture into metro Denver. And uh, they've got some trees down and whatnot, wind damage, of course, what comes with tornadoes. Nebraska, heavy rain possible, even as rivers running high. A storm system slowly meandering from the central Rockies into the plains could bring heavy rain into parts of Nebraska on Thursday, with rain chances continuing into next week. Ike weather set cool air arriving in the southern plains. This system will clash with warmer moist air from the Gulf of Mexico, setting the stage for hit and miss storms with heavy rain, large hail, and wind gusts of up to past 40 miles an hour. And uh, some isolated storms cannot be ruled out from the strongest of storms, forecaster said. And uh, this is just another severe weather system slowly um, just trudging through the United States. West Virginia heavy rains cause mudslides. They have a video. Mississippi flooding is part of global weirding. They've got the story on 6.0 in uh, western Turkey. They've called that earthquake. Uh, plant animal extinction rates exaggerated. A projected wave of extinctions of plant and animal species this century may have been overestimated because the mostly widely used scientific me measurement can exaggerate losses by more than 160% according to a study published Wednesday in the Journal of Nature. And this goes in towards the global warming bullshit and um, the carbon tax scam that they're trying to shove down your throat and the billions of billions of dollars that these people are extorting and wasting uh, in the name of um, climate control and um, nature preservation. Uh, it's a big scam. It's always been a big scam. And um, only we can change that. So I don't know what the answers are. Uh, it's just sad to see. U.S. sleet and snow makes spring feel like winter in Flagstaff, Arizona. Again, here comes the crazy weather. Uh, is extreme weather the new normal? Seems to be the case this year. And they've got the India dust storm story. And then the New York, uh, the rainstorms trigger slide in Keene Valley threatening homes. Um, and that's on Porter Mountain in New York. The RSOE's got a few things. Um, of course, the earthquake in Turkey, the wave in Fiji, uh, flash floods in Spain. Um, they've had torrential rains. Hailstorm in South Africa. It actually destroyed croplands and a few. The hail was so big it was destroying some of these shanty houses that they live in. Uh, flash floods in New Jersey. And, of course, the big landslide in Colombia. And that's about all I have for you tonight. Of course, uh, please leave your comments or attach your videos below. Any help is much appreciated. Enjoy what you can, everybody. I'll see you next time. Thanks.